What's up guys? Just thought I smelled something in my room today. What's happened? Is there an Apple event? It's on October 13th. Who said that? I don't know. I am very excited for this one. This is the iPhone 12 event, guys. This is the event we've been waiting for for such a long time. So I want to go over the invite for the first time in years. Apple has provided like 15 clues as to what's coming in the invite from the tagline to the imagery and, uh, and also give you a preview of everything to expect at this event, a rundown. Uh, of what we're hearing. All right, I hope you get ready for this one. I'm certainly ready. Drop a like if you're excited. Hit subscribe for more. Welcome to iUpdate. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so the event, when is it happening? It's a week from today. Apple did not give us a huge heads up for this. Generally, for like a big iPhone event, it's two weeks, but with everything being online, um, this is not a live in-person event like we've seen in years past. Oh. I wonder why they switched. So apple.com, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, one week from today on October 13th. You'll also be able to watch it on YouTube, which is, uh, I mean, it's my preferred streaming platform. You know, you support, support the ecosystem, I guess. Now's my favorite part because uh, we get to look at the invite and see what we can, we can glean from it, see what Apple has hidden in here. And like I said, in the past, it's generally not a lot. It might be, like for the last iPhone event, it was blue suggesting that not only was the Apple Watch gonna come in blue, but the new iPad Air would come in blue as well. Um, and this time, Apple has given us so many clues, not only about the iPhone 12 with the tagline, but for AirTags, which like we have images of and stuff. All right, so let's start off with, with the tagline here. Hi, speed? <laughs> wow, I mean, the marketing team just is so damn creative. I don't think any of us are on their same even molecular level. So what does this actually mean? Uh, it could be referring to like the LiDAR sensor coming on the iPhone 12 Pros where like a literal high speed laser shoots out and back to tell you the distance of something to help with autofocus for augmented reality features. More on augmented reality in just a second. But more importantly, it probably refers to 5G. 5G connectivity, ultra fast, the big new you know, standard that's coming, it's uh, it's gonna be high speed. So that's likely what this is referring to. It, you know, it's like, okay, this part's not that exciting, what else? All right, the background, as noted by Mark Gurman on Twitter, of this invite is dark blue. If you actually look at it, it is not black. Uh, Apple could have easily chosen to go with black here, but the background of the invite itself is dark blue. This, to me, confirms the fact that the iPhone 12 Pros will ship in dark blue. Apple is known to throw colors in here sometimes that reflect iPhone colors. I mean, back in the day, if you remember the iPhone 5C, I believe it was a super colorful invitation for all of those phones. So the dark blue color, iPhone 12 Pro in dark blue, we've seen images or, or renders of what it could look like. And I mean, that's the phone I'm going for. Like, I don't know, this just looks really fresh to me. And uh, I, I kind of starting to warm up to it a bit more than midnight green. Maybe this would be like a, a midnight blue or something. Now listen, other tech YouTubers may stop there, but at iUpdate, we go deeper, we go further. We, uh, we don't let democracy die in darkness out here at iUpdate. So I, uh, I just really wanna go a little bit further here. And I think that this is obvious once you start to put together the pieces of a non-iPhone product that we've been hearing about for well over two years, something called AirTags. This is absolutely coming at this event. The AirTag is a tile tracking accessory. So you're gonna be able to put it on your stuff and find it easily using the Find My app. And uh, there's gonna be some pretty cool AR features bundled in here. Not only have I heard uh, that this is coming at this event. Take a close look at the Apple logo at the top of this invite. You see how it's kind of surrounded and in some circles, but also notice how that Apple logo is just about perfectly set on the middle circle. Like it's not just like randomly placed within these these concentric circles or whatever. It's it's almost like centered, like it would be centered on the on the back of some product. Take a look at these leaked images uh, side by side of AirTags, courtesy of John Prosser from a few weeks back, and I think they line up extremely closely. Okay, let's say you're not convinced. Oh, Sam, are you kidding me, dude? You're the biggest stretcher of all time. Yeah, I did do cross country. I have done my fair share of stretching, but I don't think that's the context we should be looking at. It also looks kind of rounded. Like the front of it does not just look like a flat circle. It looks like a sphere of some kind. Hmm. 
Well, what would happen if, uh, you know, looking, taking everything into account, looking at sort of like the radar type vibe we got going on here, what if we went to Apple's website and tried to tap on the event? Oh, this is pretty fun. They did this for the last event where it kind of showed like some air type stuff for the iPad Air. Now, I mean, look at this, guys. This is, uh, this is literally showing off how air tags are going to work which is amazing. Like it places these like three circles on your ground. You can actually do this. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, just go to the Apple event, tap on it. So when you throw the AR thing on the ground, you got some circles here and then they explode into all of these kind of like weather balloon looking things. It's a super smooth animation. I, I really think it looks incredible. Like the team has done a, a really good job. It says 1013 in the middle, obviously. What is that? It's a date of the Apple iPhone unveil event. Um, what does this really mean? They're like, I mean, it's just circles, just augmented reality, right? Well, yeah, that's what it is on the surface. But if you look at some leaks from a long time ago for AirTags, courtesy of Mac Rumors, they discovered these screenshots and imagery inside of a, a previously hidden build of iOS that showed that basically when you have an AirTag on something, let's say you've left it in your room and you just can't figure out where it's at. It's gonna have this chip inside called the U1 chip for spatial awareness. So your iPhone is gonna be able to know exactly where that AirTag is, pretty much down to the T. And what this is gonna do when you're using your iPhone camera to basically scan the room is like a second set of eyes, a balloon is gonna float up above where this is sitting. So Apple has this idea, like if you use your camera and a balloon pops up, like you don't need to use noise or just a lot of beeping. You could just literally see through augmented reality where your stuff is at. This is part of their massive plan to expand augmented reality. And if you look at the balloons that leaked and you rewatch this back, yes, they look a little bit different, but keep in mind this build is like a year and a half old now and they were pretty rough looking around the edges. Expect these with the iPhone. Um, speaking of the iPhone, I mean, this is the iPhone 12 event. AirTags are gonna be auxiliary. Let's talk about what to expect here. So we are less than a week away from seeing these now. And this is really your first look at these devices. These are the best renders I found. These are the closest to the final design. Um, and I think they look great. You're gonna notice a few changes right off the bat. If you're new to these iPhone 12 rumors, you're gonna be like, whoa, this is this an iPhone? It looks really different. If you've been following these for the past year, you're like, yeah, I know. It kind of looks like a mini iPad Pro with the, the squared off edges, a boxier design. Guys, this is big because it means you'll be able to stand your iPhone up on its side for the first time since the iPhone 5S. We are jumping back to the future in 2013 with this design. I mean, I love it. I absolutely love it. Speaking of which, let me let me show you something. So here's the iPhone 12 and uh, iPhone 12 Pro. Actually, this is the mini right here because Apple's doing a different naming and this is the Pro Max, which is kind of wild. Um, I think they look incredible. As you can see, they've got a boxy design this year. Okay, these aren't the actual phones. These are dummy units that I've been able to go hands-on with for a couple months now. And like feeling these in my hand, Dude, I'm so into this. I'm very ready for the iPhones this year. For the first time, all of the screens are gonna be OLED. So they're gonna be the best looking screens on iPhones ever. The Pro Maxes and the Pros, so the, the $1,000 plus phones are supposed to get like 10 bit color, super premium, I think. Uh, and then the, the lower end 12 mini and iPhone 12, 5.4 and 6.1 inch models, they're gonna be OLED as well, but probably just like standard OLED that we've gotten on the iPhone, I would say probably eight bit color. Uh, or something like that, they're still going to look incredible. So the black levels are going to pop. No more LCD on the iPhone, it's gone. Android did away with that years ago. The iPhone was still holding on to it. No more, OLED screens all the way. All something else, all the models are getting 5G. I talked about this earlier and I know it's not like a, a big selling point for a lot of you, but the industry, the world seems to think there's this race to 5G and it's the future. I mean, I think it is, it's like a faster standard, but it's just cellular connectivity. I mean, I've never actually went hands on with it. So I can't tell you like how excited to be. I don't know how good it is. And I know the coverage. I mean, if you're in a rural area versus downtown Chicago or St. Louis, where I live, St. Louis is pretty sick. Very interested to see how 5G is on the iPhones. And uh, can't wait for my carrier bill to probably get more expensive somehow. Thanks, Verizon. You're gonna notice that on the front of these phones, the notch is staying the same size. Yep, there is uh, there's reportedly no smaller notch coming. Well, technically, uh, the 5.4 inch iPhone, because the notch would be too big to fit on this small iPhone 12 mini, is actually shrinking just a little bit. So if you want a smaller notch, 
you should grab the iPhone 12 mini when it comes out. But if you wanna, you know, to stay with the same old, same old and get like a more premium phone, then you gotta go with the bigger ones with a notch staying the same size. Um, and 120 hertz as well, we do not think this is coming. We think it's going to be 60 hertz yet again. So the refresh rate of the display um, will be just like it's always been. Flip these phones back over though, and you notice some big differences, which is how Apple loves to differentiate phones, the number of cameras on the back. How many cameras does the iPhone SE have? One. What about the iPhone 12 series or iPhone 11? They have two cameras. One's gonna be wide, one's gonna be ultra wide, just like the iPhone 11 right now. Jump over to the 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max. You're getting three cameras and, and technically a fourth camera? but it's a camera that shoots a laser. So I don't know how you're counting that your book. I'm, I'm sort of 50, 50, it's in like the middle of the page. So the LiDAR sensor first debuted on the iPad Pro and it allows you to send a laser back and forth from point A to point B in super quickly, like I think less than a second or something, a few milliseconds to know exactly how far away like this poster board is for me, how far away the wall that I'm looking at, the camera right here, the lens, like my iPhone 12 Pro will be able to shoot that laser out and back and get a super good reading of the room, of where things are at. It's great for things like the Measure app um, on the iPad Pro. You can like point it around the room and get legitimately accurate measurements of where to put things, because it's not the camera guessing, it's actually the iPad scanner doing all the work. So that is coming to the Pro iPhones. That is going to be potentially a big feature why you'd wanna upgrade. And color-wise, we've got blue coming, as I talked about earlier as well. Blue is going to be exclusive to the Pro models, and uh, going back to that invitation, this one's kind of a stretch, but orange and blue, blue right for like the pro lineup, orange potentially for the uh, the lower end phones or, or like this potentially being a new color. I could really see it. We've never really gotten an orange iPhone. It's always been like a pinkish red or a super yellow color. I think that this could be an indication that orange is coming to the iPhone 12 and we have a render of what this could look like. I think it looks, really great, like iPhone 12 mini in orange. I know a lot of people hate on orange and back in the day it used to be my favorite color. But um, I mean, I think this looks pretty good. And wrapping things up for the iPhone, no headphones or charger in the box. Apple is making an environmental push this year. So no matter which iPhone you buy, from what we're hearing, there is no charger included. And perhaps most exciting is, uh, is the pricing for these. Um, we're hearing that the mini is gonna start at like 649, the iPhone 12 is gonna be 749, the iPhone 12 Pro is gonna start at 1000, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is gonna start at $1,100. $1,100 for these. So these phones are not cheap. Uh, well, I guess technically the iPhone 12 at 649 would be really cheap uh, in comparison to previous years. All right guys, and just a couple more things. Uh, some one more things potentially. So iPhone and AirTags, I would say absolutely. Like these are 100% coming based off every piece of rumor, leak, and obviously now evidence from Apple with the invites. But I think AirPods Studio, Apple's premium over your headphones and a smaller HomePod could definitely debut here. I believe John Prosser said AirPods Studio were in production. They are nearing completion. Uh, we have been hearing about those headphones for like three years almost, and they still aren't out. And AirPods were last updated in October of 2019. So, hey, I mean, I think there's a pretty good chance for this one, for the, the mini HomePod. HomePod's not been doing too hot. I think they need to revitalize the line. I could see it happening sooner rather than later. And uh, I mean, I'm ready for it. I want a portable, like, you know, speaker. And uh, and that's exactly what the, the HomePod is gonna be. All right. I don't know if we're gonna see that at this event, but if we were to see it at an event in 2020, man, we haven't gotten a one more thing where Apple announces a, a whole new product, a whole new something crazy at the end of the event in a while. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you feel more well-read on what's happening next week. Full coverage coming. I've been Sam, drop a like if you enjoyed this or you learned something new. Hit subscribe for more. I mean, this is the time to subscribe to iUpdate. There's never been a better time. All right, love you guys. Hope you're doing well. Peace out, I'll see you in my next video.